Hi, Dawn from Dawn's Earthly Delights and Wildcrafted Botanicals. I wanted to bring you back to this box in particular. We talked about it earlier. So we had an unusually hot season this year. And one of the things that can happen to your garden beds is that they can bolt to seed. So even though I got some harvest from these plants, it got so hot at certain points that no matter how much I water the nutrients, it bolted straight to seed. Now I want to explain why this is not a failure. This can never be considered a failure because now you have seeds for next year's growth. Now I can understand why some people that if you live in Alaska or other parts of the country where you have no access to a grocery store, this would be devastating. But for me, I'm just getting back to small scale family gardening and this is not a complete devastation. Like I said, I did get a harvest, but I want to explain why it's okay for your things to bolt to seed. Now I have these beautiful heads of broccoli. Unfortunately, I had to go out of town, so I wasn't able to harvest. And this is what happens. They go to flower, because all of the broccoli, those little knobs that you see, those are actually flowers. And you can still eat this. It's actually much sweeter. It's still delicious. But I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna allow this continue to flower out, and I'm gonna let the bees have it, because they help pollinate my garden but they're also turning every single one of these you see this little knob right here after it's been pollinated these are all seeds what super awesome so down here i had this one this was a broccoli that early on super bolted to seed so this is way further along now if you look at these these are the seed pods and once they reach maturity and they start dying back and turning brown Every one of these seed pods has about 10 to 20 different seeds in it, depending on its size. So that's 10 to 20 different plants. That's 10 to 20 different potentials for next year. And that's fantastic. This is my spinach that I was allowing to die back, grow back to seed. I'm actually going to start harvesting these. Every single one of these little knobs, they come in clusters. Every single one of these little knobs right here. That's all a new spinach plant. So that's fantastic. Over here, I have some rainbow Swiss chard that is just for clipping and eating. Right here, this is my yellow rainbow Swiss chard. Very pretty. I have an orange one. I have red ones. And I have plants that are left over from last year. These are all seed clusters. And I am going to start selling these seeds uh, probably in January because like I said in an earlier video, everything needs to go through a dormancy period, a resting period so that energy can be ready and present for next year's growth. So don't look at your garden if something bolts to seeds. Don't look at that as a failure. Look at that as the promise for next year and everything that you can do next year to amend your soil, try to keep things cool and produce an even bigger and better garden. Every year that you do this, you learn more and more. That knowledge is going to benefit you in the long run. So I recommend that everybody just, you know, grab some seeds, start, you know, planting different seeds, do some research. I do teach people how to do this here at my property. Um, and start, just grow stuff. Just start growing stuff. And then you can start finally tuning down to what you and your family will actually eat. But in the meantime, for the first few years, just start growing experiment with your food find different recipes find different ways of you know cooking or juicing or salad making to get more nutrition into your body more live nutrition into your body and it's producing your seeds and the cycle just keeps going and that gets us off the dependency of grocery stores and others for what we need and we just get back to being self-sufficient and depend and, and independent and learning to live off the land and that's that's a truly remarkable and beautiful thing to do so if you like what i'm doing please share send me questions like my videos share them around the world and let's just get back to small scale family farming thank you bye